Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can take a pre-built motion graphics file that we've installed into Adobe Premiere Pro and essentially add customizable layers to this motion graphics. So essentially what we've got right here is a brand new table, a motion graphic from Adobe Stock. It's fantastic, right? This is the original file. If I click on it and try and edit it within Adobe Premiere Pro, I can change some of the colors, I can change the background color, but if I scroll down to the text, for example, I can't change the font of the text. So how do I change the font of the text on a pre-built gra uh, graphic? Now what you need to do, is you need to go and open up this file in Adobe After Effects. So how do you do that, you say? Okay. So with these files to start with in this format, you can only import them into Adobe Premiere Pro, but if you want to edit the base file, then what you need to do is select the Mogot file and rename it. You're simply gonna change the end of the file name to .zip, it's gonna basically say, do you want to do this? You say, yes, use zip. It zips it back up. We're gonna double click and it's gonna bring us up this brand new folder. Now inside this folder, we're gonna see a motion graphics pack. Now inside of this folder, we're gonna see a thumbnail. We're gonna see the After Effects file and the definitions. Now here's the little trick of the trade. You can try and open this right now, but often, for example, in my case, if I try to open this, it would not work. So what I then need to do is I need to rename this file as well to .zip right here. You zip, happy days, the same process happens again. I'm gonna unzip this. And inside of the project file, this is where I find the original After Effects template, which I can then open up. So once we're inside of Adobe After Effects, we're gonna view the graphic we have in uh, Essential Graphics. So I'm gonna select Essential Graphics from the window menu at the top, and it's gonna bring me up to this box. Now at the bottom, I have all of my different layers in terms of text and everything like that. Simply what I'm going to do is find the text I'm gonna select it, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down in my essential graphics panel and find that same piece of text. So for example, the winter sports event title. Now next to it in the essential graphics panel, it's going to say edit properties. Click edit properties. Here is where you want to enable custom font selection, font size adjustment, and fork styles. So by ticking these boxes, subsequently what we're doing is we're adding customizable layers to this graphic. So then we can see that we can edit the font inside of After Effects if we wanted to. Um, and subsequently we can click and change whatever we'd like. Uh, once we have enabled those tick boxes, we want to export the motion graphic by here. Um, and you know, save, it's fine. Export it to wherever you'd like to. Um, select save. Then we're gonna come inside of Premiere Pro. Uh, we're gonna head over to the graphic section. And then once like before, we're gonna essentially add a brand new graphic in. Click the plus at the bottom right hand corner here. Install motion graphics template. And we're gonna install the one we just exported from After Effects. Uh, and then it's gonna pop up in this window on the right hand side here. You can see a few that I've already imported. We're simply gonna drag and drop the new one over to the timeline. And then when I select it this time, I select there, I select edit. If I scroll down, you'll see that I now have all of these different text options to be able to edit the font of my motion graphic. So I hope this helps you out a lot. Please do take care, leave a like and subscribe and any questions, I will be more than happy to help. And yep, that was changing the footer at the bottom right there. And if you enjoyed today's tutorial, please do check out my website with my own online course on video editing in Premiere Pro. It covers all the tips and tricks, stuff like you've seen today in very quick, easy to follow formats. Thank you.